हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो टुडे आई विल लेट यू नो टेन एडवांस एक्सेल फॉर्मूलाज इन ओनली फाइव मिनट्स सो आर फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला इज हाउ टू चूज फ्रॉम योर डेटा सो यू कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला चूज ब्रेकेट स्टार्ट देन यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द इंडेक्स नंबर दैट आई एम पुटिंग हेयर टू नाउ comma select your values here then comma then again value then comma then value then comma values then comma you can select values as much you can now break close now from these different values it will give me the second index that is 34 that is my result this is how you can use choose formula let's move to our next formula that is choose calls which means choose columns this is how you can use is equal to choose calls bracket start now you have to select your array now comma select the column number now i want from this table or you can say that from this range my second and fourth column you can put it here second and fourth and then bracket close it will give me second and fourth column this is how you can use choose calls formula now let's move to our next formula that is choose rows is equal to choose rows bracket start now again you have to select the array now i want in my array my fourth row and seventh row and ninth row and then bracket close this is how you can choose any row now let's move to our next formula that is wrap rows for this you have to write formula wrap rows bracket start now you have to select your vector that is my order numbers now i want these into four columns and then enter this is how you can use your wrap rows formula now let's move to our next formula that is wrap calls or you can say that wrap column formula is equal to wrap calls bracket start again you have to select your vector vector is your range or you can say that you your data select this now your wrap count will be you can put it into 3 and then bracket close this is how it will wrap columns for you now let's move to our next formula that is v stack formula for using v stack first you have to make your data into table just select your data and create a table by pressing control t and click on okay now this data will convert into table now you can v stack this table you can use v stack formula bracket start now here you can write your table name that is table 1 take it close and then enter
this is how you can use v stack formula if you change your values in your table i'm showing it to you that i have changed here 43 here 47 it will automatically change in your v stack formula now let's move to our next formula that is take formula this formula is used for taking any data you can use for taking any row or any column now I want to take from which I've already made one table that is table one now what is your row just I want first row with three columns this is how you can take now I want to use drop formula again you can use your table here comma and drop if you want to drop two rows you can drop two rows and if you want to drop three or two column can drop also and other data will be given to us and shown to us this is showing from here so let's move to our next formula that is two row and two column which means that if you want your all data into one row and if you want your data into one column then you can use this formula that is two row bracket start select your array array is our table one now you have to select keep all values now comma and select true here And here you go, you got all your values in in one row. Now next formula is two column. For this you can use two call two call now select your array or you can say the table one. You have to keep all the values for this. I am using zero and now you have to select the scan by column and then let it close now my all values came in one column and this is how you can use 10 advanced excel formula is only five minutes so thank you so much for watching my video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and if you have any query regarding excel please do comment in comment section and please do share my video to your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn advanced excel